and how are you guys doing today? So welcome back to Always Alyssa, of course. But first I want to say don't mind my hair. I just got out of the shower, so it's like all wet. I don't like how it looks when it's wet, but like whatever. I just had to film this video. It's gonna be so exciting. So I don't know if you guys know already or not, but I'm gonna tell you. So you may or may not have seen Family Fun Pack's recent video of the news. And if you have, that's okay, keep watching. But if you haven't, then definitely keep watching because I'm gonna tell you the story. So, we were on our road trip. It was like the last day, or I think second to last day, and then we'll be home the next day. We were in Arizona. I don't remember what city, but it was like super hot outside. The sunset was actually really pretty. I might like insert a picture here, but it was like a pink sun. It was really cool. I took a video of it. I actually made a vlog that day too. So, anyways. My mom told us that morning when we woke up that she had a big surprise for us. So we were all like excited. We stopped at a national park that day. We kept driving and then eventually we reached our hotel in Arizona. We had two separate hotel rooms so she told us to go to the other one so she could set up a surprise in the other one. So we were all like, hmm, I wonder what it could possibly be like. This is so exciting, right? And so we were all just talking about it. It took a while, but eventually she came and told us that she had set up a scavenger for us and that she was ready for us to go. Hunt for it, I guess. Hunt for the surprise. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Yes. So she gave us a paper with a bunch of clues for the scavenger hunt. And the first one said something leading to the laundry room, which we figured that out. And then in the laundry room, we found a paper that said, we, in big letters. Just that, nothing else. It only said we, in letters, like this big. So we went to the next room. I think it was the exercise room. And then we went to the pool room. And then each one had a different paper inside. First one was we, and the next one was are, and the next one was getting, so it was we are getting, and then we kept going to the different spots, like in the lobby, like all these different spots in the hotel, the stairwell, and each one had a paper we had to find. So it was we are getting a brand new, and then the last one we had to go all the way back up to our hotel room and in our hotel. And then the surprise was on the bed. The first thing I saw before we saw what was written on the paper was a bunch of Gatorades. And I was like, wait, Gatorades? What, what? It doesn't even make any sense. I was like super confused. But it turns out the Gatorades were just for decoration. Anyways, so before that, the person said, we are getting a brand new. And then the paper said, baby brother or sister. And we were all freaking out and screaming. We were so excited. Like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Like. I never like knew or thought that we would be having another baby. Like that is so exciting. I don't know the gender yet. We haven't found out, but I am very excited to see if it's a boy or girl. I'm gonna tell you what I predict it's gonna be and what I hope it's gonna be. So I hope it's a girl, but I predict it's gonna be a boy just cause we've had like five boys already in a row. So yeah, I mean, if it's a boy, I'll still be happy, of course. Just not as happy if it was a girl. Cause I mean, I have so many like headbands and random stuff that I could pass on to a little sister. So yeah, that would be pretty cool. I actually really do hope it's a girl. That would be so cool because I've never had a sister. I mean, obviously. So yes, I hope it's a girl. But if it's a boy, like I said, I'll still be happy. And I mean, as long as it's healthy, it'll be good. And if it was a boy, then it would be six boys and one girl. So that would be pretty crazy and unique. <laughs> I don't know, that would just be so strange to have six boys and then suddenly the oldest is the only girl. So yeah, that would be pretty crazy. I'm very excited to do the gender reveal. It's coming up, so that's going to be awesome. And I mean, we're gonna do a very exciting gender reveal, so either way I'll be happy. If it's a girl, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'll be freaking out. But if it's a boy, I'll be like, oh, um, yay. I mean, uh, yay. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I will be excited, but still. <laughs> but the whole process of having new sibling is so exciting because you can go to the store and shop for adorable baby clothes. Like, as soon as we find out that we're going to rush to the store and buy all the baby clothes we need. Like, if it's a boy, we're going to get a ton of boy clothes. And if it's a girl, we're going to get an insane amount of cute girl stuff. I can just imagine how crazy my mom and I will go if it's a girl and how much random adorable cute pink sparkly rainbow girl stuff we're gonna get. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy. But anyways, as I was saying, like we're ha gonna have to get like a car seat, a stroller, pacifiers of course. We're gonna find the cutest ones. 
because we always do. And there's actually like a baby convention that we went to like a couple years ago for Owen. And I think we're going to go to it this year. So that'll be cool. You like go around and you get like samples of baby stuff, which is pretty neat. And it's always fun to like go shopping for baby foods. Like I know that sounds weird, but there's always like so many different kinds. And then there's like the little ones that are like this big, like little chips, I guess, for babies. And it's just so cute, like feeding it to the baby and watching the baby grow up. And yeah, it's adorable. Plus, since the baby's gonna be born around February, I'll be 15 by then, and before it's one, I'll be 16. That's kind of weird to think about. Hmm. But even if I am 15 years older than my new sibling, I mean, now that I think about that, that's a lot. Like, wow. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, being 15 years older than a sibling, the oldest and youngest, Hmm. Very interesting. So weird. But anyways, even though I will be a lot older than it, I still think it would be super cool to have another sister, which I really want, or even brother. I would still be okay with that. I mean, by the time it's like one or two, I could be driving at places. Like, literally. I could be having my driver's license already. In my mind, I kind of feel like it's going to be a boy, but at the same time, I feel like it could be a girl just because... I don't even really know, like, it's hard to explain, but I feel like it could just be either, I don't even, I really don't even know how to explain this, but I feel like since it's like the last baby, I guess, then it could be like a girl, like you would think it would be a girl, because like we've had so many boys in a row, but you never know, maybe it could just be another boy, <laughs> but the whole thing is so exciting, I am super excited that we're having a new baby like i just can't wait it's so exciting like it's such good news it doesn't even seem real like it's just crazy and we've been telling our friends and family the news and they've all been super excited especially my grandma well you know the one i call nanny yes she was super excited she was like screaming so i think everyone is super excited and so am i and we actually voted last night it was kind of funny so we did a vote where my mom asked everyone what they thought it was going to be, like the gender, and what they hoped it would be. And all of my brothers said that they hoped it would be a boy and they thought it would be a boy. So yeah, looks like they just want another brother really bad. And then even my aunt said she wanted another brother. Like, okay, that's weird. Like, they really don't want another girl in the family? Like, wow, I don't know. And it turns out my mom and I were like the only ones who wanted a girl. So yeah, I guess everyone else just doesn't like me so they don't want another girl. I bet that's what it is. I'm just kidding. But still, I am so excited about the whole thing and it's gonna be awesome. You guys can tell me in the comments your opinions on it and if you're excited, I mean, I'm sure you guys are. It's just the most exciting thing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. But you can comment like name ideas if you want, you know, stuff like that and like places to buy cute baby stuff if you guys want. So yeah, comment whatever you want. Like I said, I am just so thrilled about all of this. It's just the most awesome thing. So I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm sure along the way on Family Fun Pack there will be lots of updates and that kind of stuff that you guys will be able to watch. So yes, and if you haven't seen like any of the reveal videos that have been on Family Fun Pack channel, make sure to go watch those. And make sure you subscribe to Always Lissa if you're not because I am so close to 1 million. Thank you guys so much if you're subscribed already. And make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. And I'll see you guys later.